Welcome to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do a reading for a weekend reading for the sign of Leo. Hello, everyone. Welcome and welcome back. Yeah, these readings have been interesting today. Okay. Let's see what's in your energy, Leo. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And um, thank you for all your likes, subscribes, and comments. I mean, not comments, liking, subscribing, and sharing my video. I appreciate each and every one of you, okay? Let's jump right in. The overall energy, the will of fortune. How wonderful is that? The universe is working on your behalf this weekend. Let's go. What's the, what's the message for the Leo Collective for this weekend? Thank you. The Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take balance. The world. Ending of a karmic cycle. And a new beginning with the fool there. Six of swords moving forward. Putting down your burdens. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The seven of wands. You're going to be successful after you lay down your burdens, okay? Look at you, Leo. Okay, and then you're going to take some time to rest. Rejuvenate yourself. Get some clarity with the high priestess. Okay. After you get your clarity, you're going to have some anxiety. But you're not going to show anyone that you're having anxiety. You're going to make it seem like you're saw peaches and cream. Why is that, Leo? You're going to have emotional fulfillment this weekend, though. Okay? It, it looks like a wonderful weekend. Why Why are they suffering um, from anxiety or feeling trapped? Why is the Leo Collective, why is Ada Swartz here? I don't understand. Why is this eight of swords here with the sun clarifying it? Oh, it's a personal, some personal. Oh, it's within yourself because the sun is Leo energy. So you're suffering from some sort of anxiety, like I said before, and for the sun to come out, and that's the happiest card in the deck, it's letting me know that, yes, I was right. It is you. You're suffering from some sort of anxiety. Um, maybe from this new beginning here. But you're not showing anyone. You're sitting on your throne like, you know, like the Leos you are. That's Aries energy, the, the, the emperor. Let me get a clarifier for the emperor. I'm not showing no emotion. Why is the emperor here for the Leo collective? Yes, inner turmoil, inner conflict. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, why is that here? It's looking good on the outside, but it's it's a it's a storm brewing on the inside. Okay. So you may be a little stressed out from this um this new beginning you've been embarked on. Yeah, you need to make a decision about something. That's the Leo, I mean the Scorpio energy. Some a, a Scorpio from your past. So that's what you're thinking about. 
in your business. Yeah. So everything is bothering you because the Page of Pentacles is your money. The Six of Cups is family. And this is your emotions. So you're looking like you got it going on with the Ten of Pentacles. But these three cards coming out with it is telling me that you, it's fake. You don't have total control of your money. Your, your business might not be doing so well. And the family, this is a past family uh, card or past relationship card here with the Six of um, Cups. You're reminiscing on the good times. So is this someone who passed away? You're blocking your emotions. Yeah, you're blocking your emotions because of this past energy. Somebody, I think somebody passed away. And your money's funny. But you but you you you're but you're portraying as if everything's okay to the public, but you're 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 in you're having inner turmoil. I'm sorry about that. My condolences to anyone who has lost someone. Leo's. This is not everyone's story. This is very specific. Anything else for the Leo Collective um, weekend? Okay. The Five of Cups in reverse. That's um, um, trying to release those emotions. Mm. Yeah, ancestries. It's about your family. It's about news. Anything else for the Leo Collective? Yeah, it's about ancestry. Yeah, I, I do think somebody's lost a loved one here. And they're trying to they're trying to get their balance. It's hard when you can't stop and mourn. You still have to take care of the business. The business gotta be taken care of. The kids still need you, family still need you, everything is still going on around you. You haven't had a chance to stop. Okay. So it looks like you're going to reunite with somebody. With the judgment and the three of cups. You're going to reunite with a third party. Give me more. Someone that you've been watching or somebody who's been watching you or they, or, or they just want to come in and communicate with you. You want to communicate with them. Yeah. Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to communicate with you or you want to communicate, you're going to you're going to link up with somebody, not link up, not like how they do it nowadays, but you're going to connect with someone. And this might be your way of being able to express what is going on with you with that person. Yeah, because it seems like this facade that you're trying to keep up is really getting on your nerves. And you want to get out of these emotions. Or should I say you're going to. So you're going to get a chance to speak with someone. 
Yeah. And get your emotional fulfillment back. Yeah. I don't know. Four cups in the tower. I don't think this relates to you. Yeah. Well, um, let's get you some advice cards from the Angel Answers deck. I know I lost one. I, I lost someone very dear to me, so I totally get this energy here. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, you can be laying next to somebody every night and don't feel comfortable enough with them to discuss something so intimate with that person. Yeah, sometimes you got to go talk to somebody else. And that's unfortunate because if you can't, this, if it's not your best friend, you shouldn't be with him anyway, first off. Um, talk, especially married or living together or nothing like that. That's, that's, not, that's not good. If people only knew how much time they'd be wasting just having placeholders. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I digress. Advice for the Leo Collective. Any advice for the Leo Collective regarding this spread? Any advice for the Leo Collective regarding this spread? I have some links to um, numbers that you can call and talk to people anonymously. Anonymously. And they just listen. So, you might want to take advantage of that. There's nothing wrong with talking to somebody. They don't know you. And if they did ask you that, you ain't got to give them your real name. But it's a national number. So, you just call and talk to somebody who needs someone to talk to. Oh, it says no. As long as I said that. So, I guess no. I guess they're saying no. And it, that it's already arranged because the overall energy is the universe is working on your behalf with the will of fortune. So I guess what I was saying was no. It's a no to that. Don't call the hotline. Somebody's going to be placed in your path. Okay. Any other advice for the Leo Collective? It's already being orchestrated. Yes. There's something better. Ain't nobody going to tell me that this ain't the truth. Said no with an exclamation mark. I ain't, I ain't never, I don't think I've ever seen that card. Yes, it's saying something's better. There's something better. Good stuff. And then no came out again. I don't know what that means. I don't know your story. Oh, forgiveness. So someone needs to do some forgiving. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Listen to your intuition, because it'll never fail you. It will never fail you. Please believe me. Anything else for the Leo Collective regarding the spread? Thank you. Just know that the situation will improve. All right, Leos. Yeah. Let me give you a big old internet hug. <clears throat> okay. Because I know what it's like to go through loss and not having anyone to talk to about those very deep, intimate, you know, feelings and thoughts to trust someone to have those deep, intimate thoughts with. Yeah. I healed alone. 
for the most for the most part. So I, I get it. You know, me and my spirit guides, my guardian angels, my God. Um, yeah, that's what got me through. So take your time with this. Cry if you need to cry. That's the that's one of the best healers out there. Get all those emotions out of your body. Yeah, you don't want that trapped in there because then it turns to rage. And not only could you hurt yourself, you can hurt someone else. So, yeah, Leo, whoever this is for, uh, I pray for you. And um, this is your weekend reading. But like I say, make it a good weekend on purpose. Okay? Go into prayer. All right? Like, share, and subscribe. Come back and see me. You guys take care.